Welcome to the Cannabis Packaging Show, the world's first cannabis packaging show. This is episode number 11. 11, not 2. So today's show, we're going to do something a little bit different. Again, the whole goal is to bring you guys value. We're at the center of something extremely exciting that may never happen again. We should be real with the opportunity at hand to launch these great brands that are going to be known all over the world or all over the country you live in. It's happening in cannabis as we speak, and we're at the center of it and the forefront of it. And I was just thinking about how exciting and how awesome these times are. So we feel a responsibility as a company doing branded packaging for these brands that have high aspirations to bring you more value in the show. So please, as I always say, drop in the comments. We're getting some more engagement now, which we're really happy about. Drop in the comments what you want to see in the show. So today's show, we have two news stories that I think are valuable. We've got some materials. So we want to start showing you guys also materials that can apply to your packaging because a lot of what we're showing you are sort of novelty items, more creative items that um, maybe aren't for your everyday packaging. So we're going to show you some more everyday packaging items. The item of the week I think is a little bit more everyday, still a little bit novelty, but has a little more everyday application and the materials. So, so you guys can learn about more materials that are being used throughout the fashion world and other industries. Let's jump into the news. So we've got two stories for you. The first one, um, Marijuana Business Daily. Uh, this is a little bit of an, uh, February 21st. So Candy and Cannabis, Hershey renews trademark legal disputes with marijuana businesses. So we've seen this from a couple of clients who come up with names that are parodies or are similar to existing names. And Hershey's took up a, a lawsuit with the company Ganja Joy back in 2014. So my message here is um, in trademark law there's something called likeliness of confusion and that's what the courts would ultimately judge on. So as a cannabis brand, as someone who's, you know, you're going for it, you want to be known, you want to build something special. I like to say veer away from this kind of thing where you're doing a parody of these existing names, not only because you could get sued, and that's happening, companies are defending their trademarks, but also you want to make a name for yourself. You want to create something special, and that is what I would like you to do regarding trademarks. Don't do that. I mean, who am I to say don't do it, but realize that that is a thing that could happen to you. The second story of the day, Canadians support strict restrictions on pot packaging. This is from Health Canada, um, the Canadian press, excuse me. So Canada, the federal government says can Canadian public broadly supports tight regulations that it has proposed for marijuana packaging, which will include a bright red stop sign emblazoned with a pot leaf in the letters THC. Health Canada unveils the results Monday of a 60-day consultation around its proposed regulations, which it emphasized a focus on reducing the appeal of marijuana to youth and preventing accidental consumption. The proposed regulations would require logos to be single color with no metallic or fluorescent finishes. Packaging would have to be opaque and child resistant with a bright yellow health warning similar to those used on tobacco products. This is in Canada. Now here's, here's the important point that I want to emphasize. Once approved, the, these restrictions would apply immediately to recreational marijuana while Health Canada official says medical marijuana packaging will be granted a six month window to comply. This is why I tell clients, why I tell you guys from different times, be careful of regulations changing. Have space on your packaging and use labels right now while the, la while the laws are uncertain so that you don't end up with a lot of inventory that you cannot use. It's the type of thing that we will tell you as clients of Contempo Specialty Packaging. So. Um, Again, this is what's happening in Canada. You see their direction, you sort of see where things are going, and um, we'll see how this plays out. We'll see how this firms up, and we will keep you posted. Those are the two news stories of the day. Now let's go into materials. So we've got some materials that I want to show you guys that could apply to, um, I'd say mostly boxes uh, would be the main product, but you guys can use your imaginations. Ingrid, can we talk about these materials that you've selected? Okay, oops. Here we have some foil papers. We have shown you on a few other products uh, some foil stamping, which is something that is applied by heat. And these are actual papers that you could apply to a box. And as you can see, you can do different finishes. We have 
this is a very high shine finish. And this one's a little bit more matte, much more matte. And the foils are not just um, silver and gold, you can do colors as well. I also want to show you this, which is a, an ombre color printed on a foil paper. So we have a denser color at the bottom and we have the bare silver foil paper at the top. So this is another effect that you can do that looks pretty cool when it's on a box. And these foil papers are great to put if you don't want it on the outside of your box. You can also line the inside so that when people open up the box, there's a nice little shine on the inside of the box. All right, thank you very much. You may wonder what I'm doing right now. I forgot to reveal the official shirt. I didn't think I was gonna get a round of applause, but I'll take any <laughs> round of applause I can get. So, um, so uh, Heather just designed a box for a dispensary where there was a foil paper on the inner sleeve, which was really cool. So maybe you say that foil paper is a little bit too flashy, but you can put it on the inner sleeve. So picture a sliding box, where you've got a more matte look with maybe a shiny hot stamp on the top and then the inner sleeve is wrapped in foil paper to give that wow, to give that surprise to the customer. Heather, it was a beautiful box, well done. Thank you. Alright, so we can't have too many rounds of applause and it, it devalues all the rounds of applause that happen throughout the show. It's got to be something, come on. I mean the shirt in the future maybe doesn't deserve a round of applause, but thanks. Okay, item of the week, let's talk about this box. Okay. Today we have a, another two-piece box, and this box is wrapped in an uncoated white paper. Um, uncoated meaning that it doesn't have a varnish on it. Um, when we have printed papers, we put a varnish on it to keep the ink in place. It's usually matte or glossy varnish. So this has no varnish, it's just raw paper, which has a really nice textural feel to it. And it's also um, pretty bright white. This box also has um, a debossed border around it, which is something that really elevates the look of the box. It does add uh, extra cost to the box, but it, it's really cool. I like it. it really makes it look nice. And we have a black hot stamp here. So inside the box we have this EVA foam insert. Now for this particular customer they wanted a, a deeper box even though their product itself was not very deep. So what we have here is there's a board insert underneath to fill the depth of the box so that you do not have to fill the entire box with the EVA foam which would add a lot of cost. So that's a way to save some money if you want a deeper box, but you don't actually need the depth of the box. So this box also has a collar inside, which allows when it's top and bottom, the uh, when it's closed, the top and bottom sit flush to each other, as opposed to boxes without a collar, the cover would be overlapping the base. So this box was used for perfume, um, but as you can see, the cutouts here um, speak a lot to the vape oils and the um, the vape kits that a lot of people are looking to Cartridges. sell. Cartridges. I could even yeah, see. Sorry. Yeah, could you ever do, I was thinking also like that, that was a, a fragrance, can I see it? Mm -hmm. So this was fragrances with those uh, strips that you, you'd spray it on and sort of do this. So. Uh, do this. So if, maybe it's not EVA foam, but you could even do pre-rolls with a set of matches if you change these dimensions a little bit in Absolutely. addition to cartridges. So there you go. Yes, I mean without without the insert, you could put anything in here and just look at the structure of the box. Yep, the item of the week. All right, so. I think that's it for the show. Good show, guys. Thank you guys for watching the Cannabis Packaging Show. Throw it I almost in. forgot.
sharp edges, but I'm good, don't worry. And um, we're here for you guys anytime you need us. We are Contempo Specialty Packaging. We are here to work with you guys to build the biggest brands and the greatest brands that this cannabis industry has ever seen. We will see you next week.